I'm back with another interesting tip using hydrogen peroxide. Now, most people have hydrogen peroxide sitting in their um, medicine cabinet in a little brown bottle, and it's usually like a 3%. You may have a food grade hydrogen peroxide, which you could also use too, but your white blood cells actually make hydrogen peroxide as a defense mechanism to kill off invading bacteria, funguses, parasites, yeast, candida. So basically what it does is it oxidizes the layer of microbes, okay? So it destroys the cell wall of invading microbes. Now, when we produce hydrogen peroxide in our bodies, we have various enzymes to um, dismantle it as well. Um, but hydrogen peroxide will then turn into H2O plus oxygen. And there's other types of oxidizing compounds that are created as a byproduct from this that will help sterilize the area. I'm not gonna get into those. All you need to know is that you can use hydrogen peroxide for various things. If you cut yourself to clean the area, you can put some hydrogen peroxide on it. It bubbles up and it kills off the microbes. Um, also, you can gargle with it. Um, one tablespoon, which is 15 grams of hydrogen peroxide to 60 grams or four tablespoons of water. What you would do is you would drink it, swish it around the mouth, don't swallow it, but you can gargle with it if you have a sore throat. You can just swish it in your mouth for 30 seconds to kill off and cleanse the microbes in your mouth. And you can use it for many other things, from removing a stain that you have on your clothing, and you can even use it to clean your vegetables. Uh, you take a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, mix it with two cups of water, let your vegetables soak in it for a few minutes, rinse it off, and you have some clean vegetables. Anyway, I just wanted to create this quick video on hydrogen peroxide, and I wanted you to comment below on your experience with hydrogen peroxide. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.